Hey everybody, it's Margaret. I got some glare. Let's take those off. And today I am unboxing a mic. My new Blue Yeti mic. I am really intimidated by this because I've been doing YouTube for five years or so and I've never had a mic. Sorry, wobbles. Uh, beyond my earbuds mic that I use sometimes um, but I decided I I've got a chance I've got two channels technically and I'm thinking of starting another one and I decided that it might be time to invest in a mic so I yeah I'm gonna unbox this and we'll see how it works so it's pretty hefty I didn't anticipate it being so heavy and overall the reviews were really good on Amazon for it there were a few reviews of the many that said it quit working after a few months but most of the reviews were good um this one i liked because it's a usb Ooh, that means i need to go get my converter or my little you know i hate the word dongle but i need to go get the the doodad oh wait it's here yes ha <laughs> ha here it is so i need this piece because my mac doesn't have a usb but if this if i have this little contraption I can plug it in and we'll be ready to play with this mic. Another thing I don't know if, I guess I have to plug the mic into a, a power outlet. I don't know how that works either. Okay, again, I'm new to this. So, Yeti. I also decided not to turn my lights on, so the, the video is not super bright. I don't know, my eyes were just tired and I, I just didn't feel like it. All right, so I'm opening it up. Here we go. And that's what the inside of the box looks like. Pull this out. I have to say, it's pretty heavy for what I was excited and expect it to be super heavy. Um, but I hear this is a really good mic. When I did research, this was one that came up highly recommended by other people. Do I need scissors? Probably. Let me come and cut this box open carefully. You know what? I'm going to just slide it. Okay. So, here we go. Or not. No, it goes this way. Alright, so there's the, looks like cords. Here's my instruction manual. Please don't be too big. Okay, it's not too hefty of a manual. That's good. We've got the styrofoam. Like that. Oh, that squeaky sound. I don't like it. And this, <laughs> look at it. It looks very, to me, intimidating. But we're going to give it a try. What? I just threw that on the floor. Okay, so this is how it comes. Ooh. And then it folds up. It's awfully big. <laughs> so it looks like this. On the front, oh, that was a silica. Let me grab this silica packet real fast. I don't want my kitties to get into this. And I have a kitten who gets into everything. So we don't want, and he's already there. <laughs> you heard the little sound of the packet, and he's eyeballing it. All right, so we've got a mute button and a volume button. And then on the back, We've got gain, and then we've got all these patterns, which I don't know anything about yet. So, it's kind of got a padding on the bottom, if I can hold it still for you, to keep it from sliding around, I suppose. I wonder how that's going to work, if I'm able to just slide you back, and then have it in front of me so it's not in the screen. So this is the only wire, so I guess it, got, it gets its power from the computer because it doesn't have a power oh Daniel he's going after the box you could probably fit in that box Danny so it's like this that seems pretty easy maybe it's not going to be as intimidating as I anticipated whoa was that a separate cord or just super long oh it's just super long it's a very long cord okay so this end, we're plugging in to this contraption. 
over here. And then this end is going in, let's see. Okay, so down at the bottom, there's a hole for earphones as well, which I did not get. I think that's okay. So there's that. Okay, now the mic is on. And it says it's on mute. So, I don't know now if you're hearing me. Now I think I've got it. So what I'm recording on my QuickTime player and I had to use the drop down menu on my QuickTime player. I set my computer up to register the, the Yeti, but the QuickTime player has a separate setting for their for its mic. So I had to go through there and select the Yeti for the mic. So now let me listen to it and see how it sounds and if I need to adjust the volume because as I'm looking at it, as I speak, I can see it really going up. So I think it might be super loud for you. Let me find out. Okay, so I'm having a nice time flipping through the book and it's actually even less than I thought because part of the book is in French and Spanish as well, or just in French. Um, so half of it is in English and half of it is in French. So, I'm still not 100% sure what this gain dial does, so we'll have to play with that. But I like this little chart that they give, and it lets you know the different settings. So here's the stereo setting, that's this first one here. The next is the cardioid, cardioid setting, which is the second one over there. What oh, do I have them mixed up? I'm looking at it backwards. Then there's the omnidirectional, which is the circle. And then finally, there's the bi-directional, which, which appears to be this last one over here. Okay, so and it tells you what the different ones are good for. So let's take a peek. The stereo is good for all directions, vocal, ensemble, choir, and instruments. The cardioid is the direction is just going straight towards the person speaking. And it's good for podcasts, voiceovers, vocals, and instruments. And then... There's the omnidirectional, which comes from all angles, which is great for conference calls, field recordings, and events and orchestras. And finally, bidirectional for, for two people. It's coming from two sides, interviews, instruments, and vocal duets. So we're going to try out the different sounds, and I'll have to figure out what the gain dial does because I still, I didn't see anything in there. They have a website that you can go check it out um, to get more information, but I, ah, microphone gain, there we go, I found it, I found it. So microphone gain, use this knob to control the gain sensitivity of the microphone elements. Begin recording with this knob in the center. If you're experiencing digital distortion with a very loud source, simply decrease counterclockwise. If you desire higher sensitivity, simply increase the gain by turning clockwise. Okay, so let's start it right in the middle. So right now we've got it on the stereo sound, which I'm doubting you're gonna really hear much difference with me talking like this. So let's see if I move if I move around if you're able to hear any kind of difference. I'm way over here now. Maybe I should put the mic in the middle. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. There we go. So if I move over to this side or to this side, I'm not sure if you'd be here be able to hear a difference. Okay, so let's turn it to the omnidirectional. Maybe. If I can. Oh, there we go. Okay, omnidirectional is supposed to come in from all the angles, like so. 
So I'm not sure that you'd be able to hear a difference because it's supposed to be picking up sound from all around as well. So I'm moving around to see if, when I play it back if I can hear any differences in the sound because I'm still playing around with, obviously I just opened it, um, which ones are gonna work best for my needs. And then next we're gonna flip it over to the cardioid. Here we go, cardioid, there. So I'm gonna hide right behind it because the cardioid shows that it's coming just, here's the thing though, what's the front and what's the back? So is, should I be speaking into this side or should I be speaking into this side over here? I don't know which side is considered the front. I guess we're about to find out. Let me turn it around. So I'm talking into it this side to see if this side's the front that I should be talking into. And now talking into it this side because if it's cardioid, then the side that I talk into should show me because it's only gonna pick up from one of the sides. Okay, so next is the cardioid. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but the cardioid is the one that's gonna let us pick up from one direction, so one person's talking and hopefully a lot of the background noise coming in from the other areas won't get picked up. But the problem that I'm having right now is I don't know which side the mic considers the front or the back. So I'm speaking into it this side, but I'm gonna turn it around because maybe it's this side. So let's find out. It should, there should be a difference as I turn it. So now let's find out if we hear any kind of difference. I'm gonna move around too to see if we hear anything different on either side. Okay, one more time this way so that you can see the dial as well. This is kind of fun to play with, but we'll see. I'm moving around to see as I play it back what's, <laughs> what's it going to sound like. Okay, then we have the bi-directional. Let's make sure I turn it the correct way. There. And bi-directional means that it's going to come from both front and back. And so... You should be able to hear me because I'm speaking into, it wouldn't matter which side, but I'm wondering if I play with it, like if I turn it side to side, if I go like this side is picking it up over here, and then this side is picking it up over here, I'm gonna see if it makes a difference, <laughs> if it's gonna come in different ears, or how's that gonna work? So um, it'll be fun to play around with and turn it back and see what, the different things sound like when I play it back to myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and um, see about the gain and see how that sounds if I need to turn it up or down. And uh, so far, so good. Let me listen to this back and see what I think. I'm trying to gather my clockwise and my counterclockwise backwards. So I have it set right now on, I think that's the bi-directional where it's picking up from both sides so it should be good but what I want to do is see how my sound changes when I adjust the gain maybe I should twist I'm gonna turn it but then my voice will be distorted or muffled maybe so I'm gonna turn it to the omnidirectional or is it that's what it's on right now no it's on bi-directional Still learning. Okay, so now I know that it's gonna come in from any angle on here. So if I'm going to turn the gain, oh, I dropped my book. So let me turn it clockwise, and that's going to supposedly increase the sensitivity. So I'm gonna talk as I slowly turn it. I'm turning it and I'm turning it to see how it's going to sound when I turn it clockwise and I'm not sure that it sounds pleasant but I, I will find out when I play it back. So I'll take it that far. Should I take it farther? What do you think? You'll have to let me know how it sounds or maybe I cut it out because it's horrible. Okay so that's how it sounds if I turn it clockwise. If I go more and further does it sound even more horrid? Okay that's as far as it goes that way. Let me start it back in the middle. All right, so now I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. 
And I think this was for things that were louder. Of course, I dropped my book. So I'm going to have to look again in a second. But what I'll do is just keep talking as I'm turning this dial a little bit further and further counterclockwise so that we get a good idea for what it sounds like. Oops, now I'm going back the wrong way. All right, so it should stop. There we go. Hopefully this is not blowing your ears out, but I wanted to check it out and see how it sounds. All right, back to center you. Here it goes, it's stuck. There it goes. Back, back, back. Back we go. And now I'm gonna play that back to myself and see how it sounds. I accidentally stopped and I was trying to record. All right, so let me, let me get this back up a little bit. Y'all let me know how that sounds. I'm still gonna play around with that and try to figure out the gain, but this is the back side. Let me hold it up all the way. It's got a nice stand and it swivels so I can bring it front and back. And then if we turn it around, We've got the mute button, which I'll demonstrate one more time. And then the volume is for the earphones, which I'm not using right now. So if I wanted to play it back to myself, I could hear it in the earphones. And then if we turn it around, this is the side once again, where we can select the different types of patterns and how the mic is going to pick up different sounds as we choose to turn it from different directions depending on what you're going to do with it and then the gain is that sensitivity where it picks up more of the clicky sounds and the rubbing sounds and things like that so again i'm still trying to figure it out but those of you who watch me many of you don't create videos but some of you do and so it might be something that you consider because many of us especially jewelry lovers um, we really enjoy the sounds that go along with jewelry as well so there's something to an unboxing where we hear all the little clinks of the beads and you know the taps and things you know I'll, you know when I do unboxings of different video um, boxes of jewelry you know I like to listen to the sounds of the beads tapping together and so it might be something that enhances your your videos but then I know lots of people who make YouTube videos that just like having a nice sound in their in their mic um, and so I'm kind of excited about this you know I've been doing this for a number of years and I haven't gotten a mic yet before so I'm really looking forward to using this on the channel. And I appreciate you watching. And if you're just here for the Yeti review, so far so good. I will let you know if it continues to be a good choice for me. Let me flip it around again to the back so you can see. One more time, the back of the Yeti. So there's that. Um, I'm excited about it. It definitely, it's something that um, hooks up through the USB to your computer. So if I were to create a video, say with my camera, I would have to sync those two together. But usually when I create videos with my camera, it's one of those where the camera's facing down. So I think it would be pretty easy for me to sync it together. If I do it with the camera facing me, it might be more of a challenge, but I think it is doable it's not too hard in iMovie to line things up so we'll see how that goes when the time comes so um, leave a comment down below let me know what you think about the new I'm not even sure I have it what setting I have it on if you can hear me um, hopefully it's not too ah, we'll keep playing with it how about that so let me know what you think down below in the comments section if you are one of my friends that does YouTube videos or might use a Yeti for another purpose let me know what you think and if you'd get one and I'll link the one I got down below there were some different ones on Amazon that I I hesitated there was one that was less expensive it was still listed as a Yeti but I think it was from a third-party seller or another type of seller and it had more stuff but I was a little bit skeptical because it didn't have as many reviews and it did come with you know like a Blah, I don't know what you call the thing. It's like a round thing that you put in front of the mic. I don't even know what you call it. But um, 
I, and it came with some ear, earphones as well, but I didn't, the one that I got had like at least a thousand plus reviews and it was either a three or four plus star rating out of five. Uh, so that made me a little more comfortable. There were a few, I always like to look at the lower star ratings as well, just to make sure I know what I'm getting into, good, bad, and ugly. And yeah, so I will let you know how it goes. You let me know what you think. I'm just turning it because I don't know what setting it's on, so I'm hoping you can hear me okay. All right, thank you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.